Hi everyone, welcome to CAPSA. Today we will learn about chemolithotrophy. Chemolithotrophy. Very much interesting topic. We will understand step by step. Okay. So first is definition. What do you understand by chemolithotrophy? Chemolithotrophy is the oxidation of inorganic chemicals for the generation of energy by the bacteria in absence of light. Okay. Now, what is the difference among chemotrope, chemolithotrope, and chemoheterotrope? We will understand what do you mean by chemotropes, chemolithotropes, and chemoheterotropes. Chemoautotrophs or chemotrophs, sorry, chemotrophs means when they obtain energy, obtain their energy from chemicals which are organic or inorganic in nature, that is known as chemotrophs. So they obtain their energy from chemicals that can be organic or inorganic in nature okay and chemo lithotrophs are obtained their energy from reactions with inorganic salts that's why they are also known as autotrophic bacteria okay so they obtain their energy with the reaction of inorganic salts okay and chemoheterotrophs obtain their energy from organic sources okay so they obtain their energy from organic sources and this organic source serve as the carbon source in these organisms okay now what are the objectives of chemolithotropy there are mainly two objectives of chemolithotropy can be seen first one is generation of energy it means ATP production. Second one is generation of reducing power. It means NADH production. Okay. Now we will see the process or how this chemolithotropy occurs. The process that is used is oxidative phosphorylation. So they used oxidative phosphorylation okay this process they used and here the substance which is being oxidized or the electron donor is an inorganic compound okay so oxidizing substance is inorganic substance also called electron donor okay now the electrons that are produced from these inorganic compounds are passed off to carrier within ets etc or electron transport chain and generates a proton motive force or pmf 
that is used to generate ATP with the help of ATP synthesis. So, what I have said that inorganic substance that is used oxidized and releases electron after releasing electron, this electron passes through electron transport chain. Okay, and here the acceptor electron acceptor is oxygen and produces PMF or proton motive force and this proton motive force used to generate ATP to the oxidative phosphorylation process okay This is the process how they generate ATP. Okay, now which kind of inorganic substance they used for electron donor? So, electron donors are they actually use hydrogen as electron donor they can use sulfur compound which kind of that is sulfide type of compound okay they use nitrogenous compound like ammonium and nitrate and some bacteria uses ferrous type of compound or ferrous ion as their electron donors okay now who is the electron acceptors For chemolithotropic process, okay. So here actually oxygen serve as a electron acceptor, okay. And now we will see what are the examples of bacteria that uses chemolithotropy process for their energy generation. These are Pseudomonas species. Second one is nitrobacter. Third one is nitrosomonas. Fourth one is thiobacillus denitri denitri ficans. As because it's a Latin word. We should underline this, and another one is thiobacillus peroxidans. Okay, so this kind of bacteria uses chemolithotropy process for their generation ATP production or energy generation. Okay, so this is the end of my lecture. If you like my video, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your attention.